have those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor, but that didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this, this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. It's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Thought you had be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey! We just passed mile marker 32! So, the ad said that just after the mile marker there would be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? Let's find someone that compliments your squirrel hunting obsessions. Maybe a calmer pup? Noodle, huh? <laughs> I can see that. I said running alone wasn't enough for you. You were looking for some kind of challenge and a musher who'd listen to you too. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, having some help out there might be nice. You just need something to motivate you. Perhaps a new adventure? New family? Just know that I still have to make the calls and try to do what's best for us. Will that work for you? Let's hop in the van. I'll introduce you to Chomper. Well, welcome to the van. This is Chomper. He's a city pup, but he's ready to get out there and learn how to become a sled dog. You ready to help us train? It sounds like you weren't too big a fan of indecision last time you raced. So you decided which way to go if your driver didn't? And that I should trust you when I'm not sure what's best. How about I take the lead on most decisions, but if I'm unsure, you can help me out. But you can't just lay down in the middle of the trail, okay? We've got a new life to start. And once we're home, I'll build you a nice little den with a perfect nap zone. How's that sound? <laughs> All right, you're right. Rest up. We've got plenty of running ahead of us. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. You look like a force to be reckoned with. Gale, is it? I don't think you'll be needing much motivation. <laughs> You might need more than a nudge in the right direction, but looks like you'll set your sights on a destination and get there. I'll probably have to make sure you take some time to rest so we can keep this energy up. You really want that window open. Do you always need the wind in your fur? Yeah, it can be hard to be cooped up. Did you know you're about to venture into the vast expanse of the Alaskan wilderness? Yeah, who knows what's out there. Snow, for sure. And plenty of running. But I'm sure we'll be surprised by what we find. That's what adventure's all about. Do you think you're ready for that, girl? <laughs> I can't wait to just let you loose and pull us along. It's easy to tell that's your true calling. Get you in your element, 
Never let that wind leave your fur. I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills, or just because I can't pass up a pup. But I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go, and we only need to adopt two more dogs. Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? They said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay, it sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness, and that you always stuck by your musher's side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless, being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home. We'll see plenty of wild things, I'm sure, and I'd like to avoid the fights I can't win, too. I think this could be good. For both of us. All right. What do you think? It looks like you've got a pretty good life here. It's great meeting you, Barkley. Okay, so far so good. Two pups out of the three stops is a great start. We only need to adopt two more dogs, and we have five more stops. I think we'll be okay. Igloo! Where are you, girl? You know you have a house right there. You don't have to be in the snow. Right. Home is where you make it, huh, Iggy? Oh, are you just a big old snowball? Big, fluffy, loud. So, your owner said you're ready for an adventure. You love being out in the wild. But they've grown too old for the risks of what's out there. Well... I think we can make this happen. We've got a new life to start. You seem ready to be the wall we need if we get into trouble. And we'll all have each other's backs. Adopting dogs is so easy. I basically just love all of you. Our team is almost complete and I've only met a few dogs. We've got four more stops to find our last team member. Uh, Slayer? I'm just gonna come a little closer to get a good look at ya. Never mind, I will stay right here. How does that sound? Looks like you might need some time to get to know me. I get it, your family did say you're a bit skittish. Are you really afraid of balloons? Yeah, I've got some weird fears too. I mean, they're totally rational. I think it's just good sense to be afraid of manhole covers. You can fall in. Bad stuff could come out. That's clearly the beginning of the end. Okay, well, that's not exactly why I moved out here. But I don't think I have to worry about manhole covers anymore. And it sounds like you're very fast. I suppose knowing when and how to escape when you're afraid of everything is a perfectly fine skill. I can't say for sure I know what's gonna happen on this trip to the cabin. Sounds like it should be pretty straightforward. But I know nothing is, so we'll just try to follow what we think is right. Well, Slayer, what do you think? Maybe once we're settled, I'll come back for you. Great meeting you, Slayer. We're nearly a complete pack! Only one more pup and the team is done, and we still have three more to meet. Oh, this is gonna be a hard decision. Hey, girl. Are you Finn? Quite the, uh, collection you've gathered here. Are these all things you found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes it led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. <laughs> your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well... I don't really know my way out there. We might need some help to find more than just the trail. And while you might not be the best at running, it'd be great to have some help to know what to do. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. And it's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. Okay, then. 
seems like we could use a smart dog with a nose for the trail on our team. We'd love to have you, Finn. Hey team, I'd like to introduce you all to Finn. Finn comes to us, well, from the Alaskan bush, just like many of you do, except for you, Chomper. Finn is joining us from a family from way out here. So Finn, you like collecting things, huh? Chomper's the same. Every morning I wake up and he's piled all my shoes in my bed and is using them as a pillow. It's probably not quite the same. Your family said you'd never come back in from walks. You're always yearning to discover more out there. But you had a tendency to not know when you should stop and take a break. You'd just push and find yourself too tired to get back easily. That sounds like we'll have the right kind of adventures then. We're gonna keep going and rest along the way to, well, wherever. It sounds like you feel the same. We'll go deeper and uncover what's out there for us. If you could help and make sure I don't miss anything that I can't see, that'd be great. Well, you ready? Jumper, you approve? We're happy to have you, Finn. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're nearly at the next stop. Thanks. You mind if I give you a pet? Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get to a pet eventually, but I will accept a cautious sniff. Hey, Chomper, you have to take it slow too, okay? She's not ready for you, your lack of personal boundaries. I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. I can't believe we made it to Alaska, Chomper. Margo said to travel to the end of the road and then hop on the sled and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. It's uh, not as helpful as I'd like. But it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. So you're gonna have to take the lead. A lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team, Gail, Finn, Iggy, Noodle, and the sled is all ready to go. We've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so... You might as well start training for that now, too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail. But I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm really looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets, just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Dogs, people, it's all the same basics. Okay, well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Uh, let's go. <laughs> Now here, we don't say left and right. We use ha for left and g for right. So, let's go. G! Big fella, aren't you? It's okay, pups. I got this. Yep, 
You're making this feel really personal. Thank you for helping us. That was a good diversion. Another meal ready to go. Okay, at least we've got two bullets. Let's go, Chopper. Great. A squirrel. Please don't see it, Chomper. I know you love them, but just try to ignore it. He sees it. Hey, we've got priorities. Let's go. Hmm. Let's go. Noodle? Should I be scared? What is that? Oh, hello. So, um, any chance you're laying eggs? I guess I should do something. Okay, on my call, you're gonna try to get yourselves a meal. Hold. Hold. Okay, go! Sheesh. Y'all are great at catching these birds. Maybe we shouldn't try to have chickens at our new home. Huh. I don't need eggs. I think I like these ptarmigans. You all look very full. You're all hooked in now, right? Let's go, Chomper. Let's take a break. set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Fire would be nice. I'm ready to cook some food. I'm ready to cook some food. Maybe a bit of a massage. Keep you loose for the trail. I'm ready to cook some food. Good job, buddy. Back on the trail? Let's be safe out there. Gail, slow down. There's something up there. I think we should... 
Wow, okay, Gail, uh, I'm not even sure we should be messing with porcupines. Huh? See? They have a worse business end than skunks. I don't want to mess with that. Oh, Gail, I tried to warn you. Hold still, I got you. You can't just rush into things, especially things covered in spikes. Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. All right, let's mush on. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. I wish I could provide better warnings about porcupines. They actually have a pointy end. I wish you didn't have to learn by doing, though. I know it's bothering you, but let's mush on. Let's look for a good spot to camp. Oh! Did you see that? A bald eagle! Uh, no, Chopper, I don't think you can jump that high. What do you pups think? I could use a snack. Mm. Is it illegal to shoot a bald eagle? What if someone finds out? I can't. I'd feel too bad. You're too majestic. I'm running away before I change my mind. I'm back. Ready to go? Let's take a break. This is a good spot to rest. Scratches, scratches, scratches. It's okay. You don't have to be the petting type. You barely know me. But I think you'll grow to like me. I already like you. Let's just take it slow and we'll find ways to show we trust one another. Good job, buddy. Scratches, scratches, scratches. Scratches, scratches, scratches. We don't have anything to make a fire. Might be time to get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning, but the dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? All right, everyone feeling better? Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? All right, everyone feeling better? Back on the trail? Let's be safe out there. Hmm. Let's go 